So yeah, I would like to apologize for any background noise in this video. There's construction going on literally right outside, and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm gonna see if I can clean up the audio a bit, but, um... Well, apologies in advance. Anyway, welcome back. I'm Yink. And this is another Gunpla unboxing. Even though there's actually no Gunpla in this box. Well, we'll get into it. But, speaking of getting into it, let's cut this tape. Thinking about it, I should use a different knife for this, but whatever. Get a nice thumbnail shot, as usual. And now, let me uh, get this out of the way and unbox everything, and then we'll go over it. All right, we're back. I got everything sorted. Uh, card. <laughs> yeah, they, um, they put this in my order, which is odd, because I already have one. <laughs> and I didn't add it into my order, so I don't know why that's in here, but I'm not going to complain. I'll give this to my friend. But let's start off with a bit of a smaller kit, the 30 minute missions attack submarine. I got this specifically to um, put on my gray alto. Though this isn't light gray, which is an odd one. I mean, this is black. Uh, this is like submarine parts. Actually, I'm pretty sure these parts are used with the um, Submarine type Porta Nova. Like these are what they use for the legs. Oh. Huh. Well, I'm not complaining. I wanted those parts anyway. Getting them in black is not something I'm going to complain about. Uh, this is another duplicate runner, which I wasn't expecting. And I'm pretty sure some of these parts are for that as well, from the looks of it anyway. Oh yeah, you do get a aquatic type Porta Nova head in here, which is nice. Uh, I'm not really planning on using it, but it is a thing. Oh, and this is a backpack adapter, which is what I'm going to be using on the Alto. I'm just going to slap this on because I actually just want to do something with it because for forever it's just been a normal Alto. So I'll review this and um, I mean, there's not really much to say about it. <laughs> effectively a parts pack, but I mean, it looks pretty cool, so whatever. All right, and next up, we have the Aura Effects, which is technically figureized standard line rather than, uh, like, Gunpla or 30 minute mission stuff, but it fits for what I want it for, so, uh, <laughs> though I will say I wish they released these in red, because I would love to have, like, a unicorn Gundam or something with red lightning around it, or, well, there's plenty of other kits too, but that's the one I think of first. <clears throat> yeah, this is a much bigger box than I was expecting, though, um, actually, given the parts, I probably should have expected it, because that's a very thick runner, and wow, that is a lot easier to cut off than I thought. <laughs> It's such a mess of different branches, it's kind of hard to tell where the nubs are, but, um, yeah, there's one just straight up hanging off that. There's one there. And these actually aren't symmetrical. These are four different pieces, which is nice. Uh, other than that, you get these blast effects and effectively a bootleg action base. It's the same size, but it doesn't have all the same holes. It just has ones around the outside and like a smaller arm. But hey, again, this works for what I want it for. And the instructions are printed on the inside of the box. It's pretty simple. I don't think I'm going to have any trouble with it. Now, moving on to what I bought that for. The SDCS Shin Getter. Because I finally read the Getter manga and really wanted to get this. I, this is definitely based on the Armageddon version, not the manga, but 
I, I don't care. I just, I wanted a Shin Getter. And uh, have you seen the prices of some of the other ones? Ugh. Now, one thing I'm kind of hoping is that the green plastic matches the um, green Gundam marker, so I don't have to go out and buy some more green paint. Uh, if I do, I don't really care. I need to buy some more uh, Vallejo paint at some point in the like next month or so, so I, I can just buy it, but... That is not the same green. That is very much a turquoise, or a teal. That said, I could probably mix that paint, but, um, yeah. That is very much not the same green. In fact, it looks even more teal on camera. It's actually more of like a, a marine green kind of color. It's, it's more green than it looks on, this. it's brighter than it looks on the camera. Uh, that said, this thing has insane color accuracy and a full inner frame. Really, the only thing it's missing is the green on, you know, all of this. Uh, that, that said, you know, the head and the chest are fully color separated. It's not that bad. I do kind of wish these were yellow, like, uh, Super Robot Wars, but... Honestly, the silver there doesn't really matter. It, it looks like the original Getter 1, which is probably why they colored it that way. But yeah, um, honestly, my only complaint that I've, I've seen, like, how it goes together is the back piece here. Some... yeah, this piece. This piece here. That is what the wings attach into, and the ball joints, the angle is kind of overly low like they can go straight down to the ground but they can't raise up above the head which is kind of the pose you'd want it to be in so it's a little weird i might end up modifying it slightly to get a little bit more uh vertical height on those but that's not a big deal and again i do like that these are actually color separated so you don't have to put massive stickers on the wings or anything yeah there's the top of the chest whatever that is something stuck on it. No, it'll move. Okay, that's fine. Uh, thighs, the hip piece, and the shoulders. Yeah. Anyway, one last thing. And this last one is a massive departure from what I normally review, kind of, ish. I mean, it's still a mech, but the Aura Battler Billbine from the Inaction Offshoot line. This is uh, for the Sunrise 30th Anniversary, as you can see there. And this was made in 2007. I had no idea they were still making Inaction figures that late. I thought they ended in like 2005. But, um, yeah, unfortunately I couldn't get Dunbine, but... I do like red, so I'm not going to complain. And this is actually held with Velcro, <laughs> which is really nice. And there you have it inside, and the paint is a little bit uh, ugly, I guess. <laughs> I, you know, for some reason I was expecting it to be sort of a shiny, but it's actually a matte finish, which I'm not complaining about, it looks good, but yeah. And we have the weapons, and the sheath, the extra hand. The sword is in here somewhere, I'm sure. Um, there's a lot of extra tape around the edge of this. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> but, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy to have this, and I'll be reviewing it soon-ish. So um, let me get it all here in frame, and we'll wrap this up. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, yeah, again... I'm hoping I can clean up the audio, but if not, sorry. <laughs> I wanted to get this out as quick as possible, so maybe it wasn't my brightest idea, but... Uh, let me know what you think about the kits down in the comments. Subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when I do review these. And as always, until next time, happy building.